Ah, oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beats sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use a little Grumps room. Now hold on. You saying Grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats Grumpus. Ah, no way that's true! Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg! And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Ah, don't mess with my head, Beth! You're gonna scare me snackless! Ah! Dog oh, Grump! Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked, and I came here to calm down. Huh? I, I I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. Sorry about that. What I miss? Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious
gracious orchestra bringing music to our mouths and once we're dancing to her tune she gobbles us up that's precisely right darling this story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just a title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is out there and it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us! Yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us all. No need to freak out. It's probably just a, uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Philbo first. <laughs> Somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah. Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Ah, uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you to stay! Oh, darn it. Oh well, let's get back and tell the others. Folks, I'm fine. <laughs> um, oh, and, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the Desert Grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. <laughs> <laughs>